hello guys so welcome to 3d home and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you something very very interesting okay i'll show you guys how to um how to work on your windows stack and also windows schedule okay that's what we're doing today and remember on our previous video if you watched the previous video before this one we actually talked about our door schedules but there's something i want you guys to take note of all right if you're working on your bungalow please need to pay attention on this if you're working on your bungalow okay that's just one floor so you can actually um you can actually click on if it's door you're working on if it's door schedule you want to work on you can click on your doors and control a okay and control a sorry you can click on your doors and control a and the doors will be selected based on you only have one floor okay but if you're working on a duplex if you're working on a duplex okay make sure you click on 3d before you click on the door all right before you click on the door click on duplex click on the door then control e this one i will highlight both the door on ground floor and also the doors on first floor all right if you forget and you click on just floor plan and select the doors you're only highlighting you're actually only highlighting the ones on this particular floor all right if you go to first floor now you discover if you go to ground floor now you discover that these ones are not highlighted but first floor is highlighted that's why it's always advisable if you're working on a um on a do place always click on 3d first click on 3d first then you click on your door if it's door you're working on click ctrl a and select down and up okay but now working on windows so that means we are going to still leave it on 3d and then click on our window tool then click on ctrl a now you can see that both the windows on ground floor and the windows on first floor are selected all right so now we can proceed with the settings so after selecting them like this click on setting dialogs all right once you click on setting dialogs click on dimension marker here on that dimension marker you see this thing here move all the way from here to this arrow click on this arrow and select w marker 26 this w stands for window okay if it's door we're working on if you click on door it will show d but this one is showing w so that means working on window so we click on on that one so now it's asking us which of the circle you want which of the shape you want to use so if you click on this i receive various shapes various shapes so it depends on which one you want to use so let's use octagon let's go with octagon all right let's go with octagon then there are some minor settings we need to do now all right so pay attention you see this marker head okay marker head see this um fit fit text to fix shape to text check this one all right and then this line this external line remove it we don't need this one okay so the next thing we need to do now is click here see this show id Click here and change it to element ID and then show seal no. Nope. So you remove this one. The next one is this show dimension. You see no, click it out. And then we are done with this particular settings. So the next one is click on text settings. On that text settings, change this one to one. I like changing it to one. Okay, change it to one. And then now let's click OK and see. Click OK. If you check um our plan view now you discover that those things came out but they are outside you can see that this one is outside all these ones are the windows stack but they are outside they are outside so there's something you need to note okay they are outside but at the same time you can see that this ones if you check on ground floor if you check on ground floor you are still seeing them okay you are still seeing them look at them here look at this one look at this one well, now we need to bring them close to this point okay we need to bring them to this point so how do we do that all right so go back to your 3d again just the way it is selected click inside settings now there's something we didn't do you see this marker position okay this position now we need to bring it down and then by doing that for us to do that we need to remove this 20 and make it two just two and click ok now check your plan view you see that they are inside but they still look very big yes don't um don't worry about that where we can where we're actually going to change this setting is on 
um on our windows schedule so now this is where the windows schedule comes in now so what do we do now is for us to come all the way sometimes you see it like this okay once you come here under this schedule click on this arrow you see element you see component you see surface so under element click that arrow you see your door schedule is your window schedule so now since we're working on window schedule we're going to click double click on the window schedule this is how it's looking it's looking confusing but at the same time it's not confusing there are just some few things you need to do so what can we do now click first thing is click on this um fit with this fit with your scene click on it now everything is showing then the next thing we need to do now is let's take out all these unnecessary ones that we, that we don't need okay how do we remove some of these things that we don't need how to do that is by clicking on this scheme setting this scheme setting on that scheme setting scroll down you see this sound transmission class we don't need it so we remove this one thermal trans we don't need it this one fire resistor we don't need it 3d we need the thing to be showing and 2d we need the 2d to this one we don't need it this other one too this w and d we don't need it orientation we need it it's not really necessary for windows it's not really necessary for windows but let's leave it and this one normal uh, nominal width and high size okay so okay, we need that one so to zone we don't need it remove it from zone we don't need it remove it quantity we need this one um library party name we don't need it um which one is party name <laughs> <coughs> live party name we don't need it and um dynamic id by classification we don't need it so we remove this one i went and click on cancel instead of okay so sorry we are doing that again i'll be fast so this one we don't need it this sound remove this one remove this one remove leave 3d leave 2d this w and d remove it this one remove it orientation leave it this with leave it zone remove it this other from zone remove it quantity we need that one this library pattern let's leave it and see what is going to show there this one dynamic classification we don't need it remove it then click ok what's the pattern name window 26 window 26 window 26 window 26 hmm that's the pattern name so let's go back and remove that one because we don't need it we don't need this one so remove it and click ok so now we only have these ones now but then these ones are just uh, um primary settings yeah but there are some few things again we need to do like me i like changing the color to black i like it black and for adjustment mind you those ones on the flan on um, the plan view are still like this okay the size are still like this but we'll soon remove it i'll show you how to do that very very soon so go back to your window and then let's rearrange this one there's a way you can adjust it this actually this particular um stage it depends on what you want to do okay so if you want to shift this one to come up and bring some of these ones down you can do it by clicking on this scheme settings again you see this 3d it, uh, these ones are the diagram so you can decide to bring it up after quantity and um 2d close to this one and um orientation you can decide to bring the orientation or quantity which anyone shall i mean the orientation between this one and this one and then quantity let me bring quantity below 2d then you click ok you can see that the adjustments have been done all right adjustments have been done now let's go back and show you so let me show you something now this one we need to change this let's do it now okay pay attention how to change this ones okay there are different ways you can click on it and change it inside certain dialog but let me show you one way of one way of doing them very very fast okay so click on your window schedule same thing okay so now look for the ones that are the same it's very very simple so don't think it's going to be difficult okay it's very simple so for like this this ones this one is the biggest like the longest window so we can choose to name this one w1 this is w1 if you check the dimension this is 600 by 3.251 the same thing with this one so let this one to be w1 since they have the same measurement and then this is w1 so now this is w1 so now which one is second to this one you can decide to choose any one actually but me i'm looking i'm actually naming them based on their sizes so now this one is second to this one when it comes to size so i'll make this one w2 w2 
if you check which other one have the same measurement 600 by 1.6 600 1.6 so that means this one too is w2 w2 which other one again which other one again this one's are 1.2 this one is 1.6 so we are done with w2 so this one now is 1.2 so we'll name this one w3 w3 1.2 600 by 1.2 this one too is 600 by 1.2 so this is w32 this one too 600 by 1.2 this one too will be w3 w3 and then which one again by 1.2 this is also w3 this is w3 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 and um w3 w3 so this one now is the smallest so let's name this one w4 w4 click outside now let's say okay Oh, there's no need of seeing any okay since there's no provision for that so let's just go back to our plan view and see now you can see that they have adjusted themselves you see they've adjusted themselves and we're having our w3 here we're having w3 here we have w4 we have w3 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 we have w2 w2 okay so let's check our two you can see that if you go to second floor, you see the same thing there too. W3, 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 like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. So how many W3 do we have? How many W2 do we have? How many W1 do we have? So click on your Windows schedule, you see them. You see that W3, we have eight. The ones opening to the left. And then W, um, W4, um, W3 again, the ones opening to the right, we have four. And then this one, we have two. Of these little ones and um of this w4 we have two if you check this other side we have two of this type okay you can see them based on their sizes how they are going all right so now we need to add one more thing which is very more very very important we need to add um i mean two two more things we need to add um location and description location and description if you want to do that you just click on this set um scheme setting under scheme setting you see add field under add field you click on general this arrow click on general then under general now select this scroll down you see custom text click on this first one see add click on the second one you see add so now click ok click ok so you can see that we have two customs now okay so now you can decide to thicken them like this click on the next one bold them and then let's say what should we name this one okay this one is location let's say location this one is location and um, this one is description all right so this one's our description but we need to take them back to this other side click on this one and select this left alignment click on this other one to select left alignment and they will be there waiting for you so for the text for the location this one is living room this one is at um, living room okay so this one this one is let's open this let's open the open in 3d where's this one located at let's go back and let's open this on plan view open on floor plan so this one is located at the entrance that's still living room okay living room two so we'll just we'll just copy this and paste it here same thing with this one living room and then this ones are bedrooms bedroom okay <laughs> where's my cursor okay so this one to his bedroom so we'll just copy this one bring it here paste it this one is toilet okay this one is toilet oh 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 okay this one is toilet all right so 
for this one description yeah this is where you describe the type of window anyhow anyhow you want to describe it based on what you're actually recommending okay so let's just say window this is where you type in let's just say glass window for this one but you can give it a better this thing you can give it a better description okay glass window glass window glass window i just paste glass 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 window aluminum glass window okay let's just give you something good um aluminum casement and glass casement glass window window okay i think i'll be copying everything copy i'll paste i'll paste there's something i want you guys to see that's why i'm typing it to be long you can see that some fonts are not showing like um some things are not some of the write-ups are not showing right you can see the aluminum casement the rest are not showing so how do you do that that's the reason i'm typing it so you can see how to work on that so what we need to click now is you see this place there's something called wrap text wrap text so you click on this wrap text you see that everything is showing now and if you want it to be bigger still click on this fit width look at everything now so this is your window schedule you can decide to you know maybe make it a bit too later type it in capital two liter let's say window window scale do okay window scale do all right so we are done with this one as simple as this if you check your 3d if you check your plan view now you discover that um under plan view your tax are showing okay the window tax are showing www this and that the tax are showing and at the same time your window schedule is ready window schedule is ready so this is the simplest way on how to work on your window schedule so thank you so much for your time thank you for watching and um, if you find the tutorial helpful please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share all right and if you have any question please drop it on the comment section i'll attend to you see you on our next tutorial